so far away, nobody can catch up with My name's Philip DeFranco, and you are watching Anaconda 1984. Awesome, thanks. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. I have so much to talk about, I don't know even where to start. First of all, I've been, um, as some of you guys may know, I moved to Hamburg. It's really nice here. I started attending the art school here. My laptop is unfortunately broken, so I'm filming with the one of my brother. Someone actually asked which camera I use, so um, it's the eyesight. I currently started working on the sculpture of an alpaca. It's basically made of chicken wire and then I mixed uh, some um, flour with water to make paper mache and um, used like newspapers. I dipped newspapers into it and covered the chicken wire skeleton with it. I especially love to work in the second half of the day. So one time it was around 8 or 9 p.m. I was you know I didn't switch the light on in the hallway and I was walking down the stairs when all of a sudden I saw and it was absolutely beautiful there were like little red candles and leaves I, I kind of filmed that with my phone a bit so yeah, that was really beautiful. There's like the sports school right below and uh, they were just welcoming the new students there. So I thought that was really nice and yeah. And in general, the atmosphere over there, like in that area, is just wonderful and it's getting kind of Christmassy and you have um, this feast called Sankt Martin which is um, a feast where you like lots of little kids carry little lanterns most of them self-made of course um, yeah so one day I walked out and it was freezing and you had like this orchestra playing on their trumpets and I I could already hear it because I, I know these um, songs like from my childhood and there were like a whole row of people just walking through the streets carrying their little lanterns and it was just like wonderful and yeah it's getting really Christmassy here. Um, you you see all these little Christmas markets opening up. So yeah, it's it's just wonderful. And um, in Prague, I kind of <coughs> sorry, I kind of tend to miss that. Like it, um, the the atmosphere at the markets there doesn't feel the same as here or in any smaller German towns because it sort of feels like imported there and it it feels it feels very touristy whereas here um, it's it's sort of in their blood and you, you you've seen it like over and over the years and it's just it's just different I mean Prague is sort of um, getting better at it and especially like in the last few years um, their decorations improved extremely like but sometimes it's, it kind of seems like the music doesn't match and it feels like they're you know shouting and screaming and it's just totally out of place like the the, the music I mean it feels like stadium music sometimes and it just somehow doesn't fit so yeah um, thanks so much for watching let me know how the Christmas markets are around your place actually 
um, I think about two or, or three years ago, I'm not sure, but I once posted this um, Christmas video about how to make roasted almonds and they're just so so good and so easy to make. I'm gonna post it below. Feel free to check that out. I'd be really happy if you make them yourself too. It's a lot cheaper and a lot tastier when you make them yourself. 